Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lands Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Gotta run today, timely as always, this is our Valentine's Day run, courtesy of Francis D. So this should be going up, you know, more than a month after Valentine's Day. But it's like in time for White Day in Korea or something like that, but in any case, this is a run. Basically the premise of this run is we are playing as Cupid, and Cupid is tired the F out of giving out love but never getting any for herself, or himself I guess. So we're gonna go find Blue Baby. And we're gonna make Blue Baby our boyfriend or girlfriend, whether they like it or not, which actually makes this run sound a lot darker than it actually is. But in any case, what do we have? We have Cupid's Arrow for piercing shots. We also have Sacred Heart. Basically, any heart-themed items. We have Yama Heart. We have the health upgrade that is just like the less than three sign. Uh, we have the belt, which is functioning as our diaper. You know, Cupid in, in frescoes and whatnot has a diaper. Uh, the conditions of the run. We also have Holy Grail, by the way, which is like the wings of Cupid. Basically, we're meant to look like Cupid and have every heart-related item. Uh, the conditions of the run, because we are starting out very, very strong here. No item rooms, which I think is fair, given that we have Sacred Heart. Uh, as well as Cupid's Arrow, of course. Uh, no... One second. No deals with the devil, of course, because we are a, a holy figure, if you will. Uh, and what was the other one? I thought there was one more. No getting rid of Yum Heart is the third one. So no item rooms, no deals with the devil, and no getting rid of Yum Heart. Which is A-OK -okay by me. Yum Heart, actually, I think Yum Heart gets a bad rap for the most part. I actually think it's a totally solid... That was awful. Um, and that was even worse, actually. A totally solid spacebar item. Uh, especially if you're planning on rolling on red hearts for a while. As I am, because I have no way to get rid of these red hearts, given that I am... Uh, never gonna be able to do deals with the devil, so keys are not gonna be too much of an issue. I might still want to go to shops, you know, make Yum Heart the best that it can be. But in the meantime, I feel like we're gonna be very strong for at least the first few floors here. I really can't see, uh, much in the way of enemies stopping us before we get down to at least the depths, but probably, uh, substantially later than that even. Given the fact we're doing crazy damage, like, not mom's knife levels of damage, at least not yet. Uh, if we get something like Polyphemus, obviously we can build up to that. Um... But we are doing a lot of damage. I'm gonna continue to take damage because I hate Gertie Jr. But you know what? The fact that we're doing so fine against Gertie Jr. is kind of a testament to how much damage I am dealing. In any case, and how much health I have, I guess, because I've already been hit a couple of times. But in any case, Gertie Jr. is gonna die. We're okay. We got an HP upgrade. That's our second HP upgrade. We might as well see what Satan has in store for us. I wouldn't have wanted either of those anyway, Mr. Satan. So you can just go shove that luck foot up your own asshole. I don't know why I went with like a... I don't know, like a Shirley Temple style delivery. But, you know, if there's anything funnier than a small child sounding like they're swearing, uh, like a sailor, I don't want to know what it is. More keys is always good if we ever get a, uh, golden chest frenzy, uh, that would be fantastic. We did just get a random spirit heart by way of that tinted rock, which is beautiful. I didn't even have to use a bomb to get it, which is great because bombs are uh, a little hard to come by right now. In the meantime, though, so far so good. We have seven hearts on the third floor, which is more than anybody could have possibly hoped for. Uh, we still have crazy damage, and you know we're gonna be on the lookout for secret rooms if we get more bombs, so I can pick up a map or a compass, or both preferably, just to increase our chances in the future. Because again, unlike the last run, uh, we are not going to be going down to Shoal, or intending to go down to Shoal anyway. Uh, we are gonna be headed straight for, uh, the Depths and the Cathedral. Did I even- oh, I did need to blow that up. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be heading straight for the, the Cathedral, the Depths and the Cathedral? The cathedral and, uh, the Chest is what I meant to say there. Uh, which, you know carries a little bit of a more a greater risk with it, if you will. Fighting Super Sloth doesn't really bother me. He can create some nasty creep, but uh, I have the ability to fly. The only problem is I wish we had a little higher range so that I could kind of stand further back and still do damage, because as is, Sacred Heart seems to confer kind of a range disadvantage, it seems. I'm not 100% sure if that is uh, indeed valid, but that's the way it appears so far. I would also love to get my tears, uh, tears up stacked up. Because as of right now, I'm not doing uh, a huge rate of fire. My DPS is good, but it's only because my damage is so good. Like, my raw damage. I would much prefer uh, to... Well... Let's stick with the two of clubs for now. High Priestess is good, but it's not the be-all, end-all. Um, yeah, what I'm trying to say is I would love to get something like Sad Onion so I could actually fire at a much quicker rate. Because as of right now, uh, obviously, I'm, I'm doing a lot of damage. But you've got to make sure that you're hitting these enemies. Because if you... Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't tell me I'm trapped here. Alright, that was a good escape. And we did manage to kill one and now two as a result of that. So everything worked out okay. But that was scary for a while. In any case, me, Northern Lion, me want to fire tears faster. Because apparently I have lost all of my eloquence. Sadly, we have picked up Umbilical Cord. And if I had known that was going to be the case, I absolutely 100% would not have bothered going to this mob trap room. Uh, I... 
Umbilical cord is so useless, I don't even know what it does. I always get it confused with the missing page. I think it gives us a half heart when we get down to half, or it gives us a full red heart or something when we get down to half red a heart of total health. I don't know, man. But missing page gives us a familiar when we get down to half of a red heart. I, so I think, yes, yeah, umbilical cord is the one that actually gives us health instead. I hope, I don't know. In any case, hopefully we don't ever need to use it. Uh, that was actually a really nice sacred heart there, and we are done with this room. We picked up another bomb. So, you know, every bomb that we pick up is technically like picking up two bombs, because I am going to use uh, our two of clubs. It's club, wait! Let me think about this. I remember, people always tell me, clubs is keys, because the club is curved like a key is curved. No, clubs is bombs. Okay, we're going to check out our shop first. There is a battery in here, I would love to buy that, obviously. So now we have a new quest, we are going to be on the lookout for the secret room. We're probably not going to get enough money. It would be incredibly unlikely for us to pick up 14 cents in one secret room. Uh, but we're going to try regardless, that's not it. So I hope it's this one. It is, fantastic. Uh, there is the Book of Belial, which we can't even pick up. So I guess we're hoping for the world's greatest pageant boy from this boss, otherwise there is uh, quite literally nothing I can do to buy that battery. But you know what? Yum Heart hasn't been necessary yet, so maybe uh, it's not that bad if I don't end up picking up the battery. It's not like I need extra charges on it right away or anything. I was gonna use a bomb to take this guy out, but then I realized that he was gonna spawn bomb flies for us, so uh, if I can just get some sweet chain reactions going there, I will be a happy camper. In the meantime, it kinda sucks because I gotta get close to him, uh, which obviously I do not want to do, but he's pretty slow moving, so we should be okay. I really thought he was gonna explode there. Oh, yeah, I took damage from the bomb because I have very little foresight, apparently. At least hit some of these bomb flies. There we go. That was beautiful. Now we've just got to start the chain reaction, or continue the chain reaction here with these guys. Oh, I really thought that was going to do it. There we go. And one more. Probably one more hit total on this guy is going to be enough. Oh, very close. There we go. And we pick up an HP upgrade, and a deal with the devil deals, or sorry, deals with the angel. Deals with the angel are totally on limits. Uh, we will pick up Dead Dove. It doesn't give us much. It, it actually takes away our wings, but that was unintentional. It gives us a Ouija board, basically, though. And hey, free Ouija board. That's fine by me. We're going to make our way forwards here. Still haven't gotten much of the way of damage, but I, I really cannot complain from a health standpoint. We're doing fantastically when it comes to overall HP, which is going to be a big predictor of our success since we have no way to get rid of our HP. Oh, almost got caught in the crossfire there. Uh, yeah, we have no way to go permanent Polaroid, so we might as well just embrace getting as many HP upgrades as possible. I would also love, uh, rate of fire increases, range increases, or, uh, damage increases, just raw damage increases. Not sure if those are likely to come, but, uh, I would like them if they did. Oh, that was awful damage, but on the bright side, there actually is a silver lining to losing my spirit heart in that way. And that is that I can now justify going to this curse room and finally using my yum heart to replenish a little bit of health. Let's see what we get here. Double spiders, obviously that's not, I'm not psyched about that, but uh, we'll continue onwards here. Would love to be able to go to the secret room, we will absolutely take this pill. Tears down, that is exactly the opposite of what I wanted. What do we have in here? Tons of bombs, that's actually awesome. So, uh, we've actually become even more of like an artillery shooter here. High damage shots that unfortunately uh, fire very, very slowly. And you know what, I am going to use Yum Heart just so we can immediately go into this mob trap room, just in case there's something that I want here. We might as well pop it open. It's half of a red heart. The irony is palpable, and believe me, not lost on me, but hopefully uh, we at least manage to pick up some more money as a result of this room. Like, we could get a second drop after these guys are all dead, which would be A-OK -okay with me. Thankfully, we're doing so much damage, because our rate of fire now is so low that it might as well be nicknamed Han. So... I can't believe I let that guy walk into me, that's crazy, but at the bright side, I actually did find a use for that, uh, second heart that dropped there. Alright, so we'll take these guys out slowly but surely. One hit each, we are good, we got one more ascent, well I guess, you know, I can't really complain, I did ask for more money, ask and ye shall receive. Could have used a nickel or a dime or something though. Anyway, there's our boss room, so we'll get through that right away, cause I... Uh, basically want to get advantages as soon as possible, so if I could pick up extra tiers, uh, or extra rate of fire, extra health, extra damage, basically extra anything, that is A-OK -okay by me. Cuba meat, not super psyched about, but hopefully we do have a chance to get a deal with the angel or something like that. Uh, I don't even know what I would want from a deal with the angel at this point. I guess, uh, the all stats upgrade are like Blood of the Martyr or something. Stigmata, can that even show up in a deal with the angel room? Seems a little dark. Uh, but let's back it up here. Pestilence obviously has been a very easy fight. Uh, my work is basically super simple uh, when enemies die in a single hit each. We might as well explore all that there is to explore on this floor. 
Not that I meant to rhyme there. Obviously, that would be a crime bear. Crime bear! Coming this fall on ABC! Uh, not a secret room. At some point, I'm gonna get some money, and I'm gonna use that money to buy something, and that something is probably gonna disappoint me, much like my son. Uh, that is another tears down pill, so I don't think that is necessary right now. Again, this will be a super easy room. Uh, let's talk about, like, second tier items that I would still be st super stoked about getting in this situation. Uh, Rage would be one of those, like Bloody Lust. I would be psyched about getting that. Uh, what else? Even uh, the 8 ball or squeezy, anything with any sort of tier conjunction or tier compartments, you hopefully know what I'm saying there. You know what? Bloody Penny makes a lot more sense on a Cupid health themed run uh, than Umbilical Cord. So let's roll with that. Uh, I would be A okay with Speedball, which is a little bit rarer, but mob trap rooms have a tendency to contain it. Even just straight speed upgrades. I would also love PhD. And the reason I would love PhD is so that I could actually, you know, make good use of these pills, potentially. Instead of having them constantly burn me, which is unfortunate. Please shoot the TNT at some point. There we go, finally. So obviously we have no interest in going to, well, we have interest in going to the item room, but we unfortunately cannot. And this guy is going to pose literally zero risk, provided I stay far enough away. He'll be dead in one more hit. Two more hits. My mistake. And again, Red Heart's dropping like crazy now, but unless we come across an arcade, it's not altogether that useful. Now that we've seen the entire floor, you know, with all the keys that we have, we might as well use one key, go to the shop. If there's anything worthwhile in the shop, we'll definitely look for the secret room. We should look for the secret room regardless, though. Uh, it shouldn't hinge on whether there's good items here. Uh, but, you know, I might want to buy a key or a spirit heart from the shop regardless. So let's check out what we've got in here. It's just greed. This is actually for the best, I think. Greed could give us the steam sale or something better, like the quarter. I don't even know if the quarter would be better than the steam sale. I guess this late in the game it would be. Not that we are, you know, even close to the end. But even just picking up that random four cents is really useful. Uh, we'll see if we get something else from this. Maybe a key to justify the one or compensate us for the one that we lost here. It's A-OK -okay by me either way. No, just more red hearts. Awesome. Okay, well that floor is done like dinner, like that fish head that we've got over there. Sadly, with no arcade, these red hearts are just going to be abandoned, never to be seen again. Might as well take a look for the secret room, though. It is indeed there, and five cents, well, nine cents, actually. That is beautiful. And again, also, five red hearts, or two and a half red hearts, I guess, technically, uh, that we have no business using. So it's time to go onwards to bigger and better things. Our chances of beating the overall game remain fairly low. But if we could uh, get some extra advantages, Polyphemus, of course, is probably what I'm looking for most of all. If I had to rank what I wanted to get, Polyphemus would be up there, as would Sad Onion and the Odd Mushroom that gives you extra speed and much increased rate of fire. Number one could be interesting. My range is already super low, though, so I'm not sure if I want to, you know, tempt fate with that. Uh, the good news about zombie rooms here is we do have Sacred Heart and Cupid's Arrow, so we're going to be doing a lot of piercing damage. So basically, I can just afford to hit those guys straight in the effing face, which is awesome. Because most of the time, they are annoying as hell. These uh, guys are going to take three hits each. And you know, my damage is good, but it could be a lot better. As, as awesome as Sacred Heart is, uh, and I did name it like my third best item in Isaac, uh, we, it's not like a 100% a, like predictor of success all on its own. I do have a chance to use Yum Heart here if I wanted to, but that seems a little foolhardy considering now I have four half red hearts available to me. Uh, but again, the Cupid theme is strong with this one. That was almost terrible damage on my part. Uh, I really have no excuse to be taking damage against Wrath, considering I fire a lot of damage, uh, and I fire it over rocks as well. So even if this dude throws some bombs into my cover, there's nothing he can really do to hurt me. And he's gonna die. We're gonna get three bombs for our trouble. Was it worth it? Yes! I mean, these bombs are gonna come in handy at some point, maybe even right now as I look for the secret room. Fingers crossed! Yes, indeed! Uh, we get a fortune teller, which I will probably just blow up immediately. So let's do that. I always play it once, just in case. You never know, right? That's Isaac's head, which we're gonna skip past, because Bloody Penny, again, makes more thematic sense, I think, uh, in keeping with the theme of this run. And we're gonna continue looking around here. It's a shame that we got that Tears Down pill. I, I didn't think that would affect us as much as it actually has. Uh, you know what? Why not use the Yum Heart? We are, you know, for once, in a position where it would benefit us, and it saves us from a little bit of backtracking. Yum Heart, I'm assuming, is gonna become a lot more important as, as we get further and further into the game. As is, though, I don't necessarily feel bad that I had to skip over the battery. One thing worth noting is that we do... Oh, that was almost terrible. We do, for once, have enough money to make the shop worthwhile. Let's try not to get hit by these bomb flies. 
worked out uh, so far so good. And if I can just get... Oh, that was close. Just want to be a little bit careful as these guys get closer and closer. I never... I wasn't even paying attention to the red one, so I don't know how close they are to exploding. But if I just stay behind this rock, it shouldn't matter too much. Or if I just get a lucky shot in like so. Oh, apparently I, I did get a lucky shot in. Not in the way I intended, but the Empress card is going to be useful for us. I'm going to hold on to that as long as is humanly possible. And if I am down half a red heart for this boss fight, that is no skin off of my gooch. Gucci Katana. Um, let's just continue onwards here then. So we're going to be fighting Monstro 2. This feels like a, a carbon copy of the last run actually where I was fighting Monstro 2 on this floor as well. Only he was red Monstro 2. This is normal Monstro 2. And this is uh, probably one of the easiest fights you could possibly hope for right now. Please drop a tears upgrade Monstro. If you're not going to drop Polyphemus, which I think is impossible. And if you're not going to drop the Pentagram, which I think is extremely unlikely. Just find it in your heart to drop Squeezy or... The magic 8-ball with a sweet-ass tarot card associated with it. Even the coat hanger. I'm not gonna, you know, look a gift horse in the mouth when it comes to the coat hanger. We're just gonna continue onwards here. We have about 10% of Monster 2's health left. Obviously, this is uh, a fight so easy that by this point it's almost a little bit boring. You know what? We do get a range upgrade. It's not awful. Let's pop our Yama Heart and uh, keep going. Now, we do possibly have an arcade on this floor, which could mean a free HP upgrade. Again, I would love to have, like... 12 hearts by the time we make it up to the cathedral because we are going to need those hearts as we play against uh, Isaac, Blue Baby, etc, etc. Sadly, we're not going to be able to take Bloody Penny with us. Bloody Penny has been a very good source of red hearts that we can't use. And, you know, getting later on in the game, we'll probably be able to use them, but we won't be able to get them. We got a bad gas pill, which is not altogether that exciting for me. But we're going to continue going strongly here. This has been a weird run. In the, normally, I like to fight the bosses last just because it kind of... I don't know, it feels better that way. Like, you've got you've gotten all the advantages that you could possibly accrue on the floor, and then, you know, you go and fight the most difficult enemy. But we've been doing things a little bit backwards here. Uh, and it's worked out okay for us. There's the curved horn, which we do not really want. I will open this golden chest. You know, we, we traded one key for a key and two bombs, which is obviously a good trade. Now we'll see how much health we lose uh, to kind of cement us in that decision. And we might actually get a second drop when we finish here. I don't even know what I want at this point. More keys is probably beneficial on the off chance I actually make it to the chest. And we're only on the depths part one, so it's not like we're facing an incredibly strong mob trap room. We will get a yum heart charge at the end of this as well. And, you know, Zambro's not a big deal because we will be doing piercing shots that do a lot of damage. But uh, our, our damage is not going to carry us too much further. If we have this damage and we're still trying to get to the end of the game, that might be... Oh, I, I want to go back to Bloody Penny. If we, yeah, we still have, like, base damage here, or our the d base damage we started with, at least, uh, and we're trying to finish the game with it, uh, I think we might find ourselves in, in in for a rude awakening, shall we say. I don't know why that was phrased so awkwardly. I, I, I refuse to phrase anything unless it also echoes the title of a Megadeth album, apparently. So we're just going to kind of hang out, run back and forth, take damage. Not that it matters. We do have another key. Spirit Art for a key is not the world's greatest trade. But I'm not the world's greatest trader, I can't believe I didn't take damage there. Uh, we have item room, which I cannot go to, and shop, which I am implored to go to in order to improve my chances. Please, give me something worthwhile here. Nine volts, nuns have it. Nuns have it, okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna pop this yum heart. And we've already been to the secret room, I should really go back and get that sense. Sadly, again, no arcade on this floor, which is really disappointing, because we might not get another chance to use all of these, uh... Red Hearts we're getting from Bloody Penny to give us a chance at an HP upgrade. We're still doing fairly well. I think we might actually be, due to that tiers upgrade, slightly weaker than we were when we started. Or at least when we were, you know, at the height of our power. But you know, we're not at risk of dying against Mom, I think. Uh, should be able to safely get down to at least the womb. Mom's heart, uh, if we have enough health when we get to her, should be easy enough. This should be uh, an easy room for me. And again, I, I guess this is the kind of unsung strength of this run. Is that, especially now that I have the Ouija board, uh, I can just float over these rocks, and by way of piercing shots, uh, my damage is A, strong, but also, uh, what was I going to say? Not, o not only am I damage damaging a lot with each shot, but my defense is also high, and I guess, like, you know what, we might as well just go to town here, because I'm basically invincible, as long as uh, I'm only taking half a heart per hit. Uh, I don't really want the left hand, I consider that to be an overrated trinket to a certain extent. So yeah, I might as well just go stand next to these guys. Because, uh, you know, if they do damage to me, it doesn't really matter. Because, uh, I, I might as well just crank this human meat into them a little bit. Do as much damage like so as I can. 
And every time we get hit twice, we'll lose a heart, and uh, Nun's Habit will also let us gain a heart via that Yum Heart regardless. So, it's all good. Uh, basically, nothing can stop us on this floor. If we get hit once, we might as well get hit twice. Maybe that doesn't make any sense. In any case, we are good to go now. Uh, buying the Steam Sale seems like a silly decision. Almost as silly as buying that Tears Down pill, which I just did by accident. Uh, let us take the Empress card, and we will go down and to the left now. So, shop sadly didn't turn out all that well, although this Nun's Habit, you know, the importance of that can't be overstated. Now, I, I'm gonna try not to take damage, but at the same time, if I get hit once, uh, it is in my best interest to get hit twice, I believe, as long as I'm rolling on whole hearts, not half hearts. Uh, in which case, then I'll be trying to survive rooms without taking damage, as is the norm in the Binding of Isaac. And we found our boss! You know what? It's probably time for us to just go fight this boss. It's been a fun, invincibility-laden floor while it's lasted. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. But in any case, we're just gonna murder these dudes. If they could please stand in a single file line arranged by height so I could do it, I would be pleased. And it's Red Mom, which is great. I really love the stuff she did with Method Mom, you know, back in the Wu-Tang days. Uh, again, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're borderline invincible, but I'm not 100% sure. Mom's foot might do one whole heart of damage. In which case, uh, I don't want to get hit. Probably don't want to get hit regardless, but in any case, just keep firing in some shots here. Again, our rate of fire is so low that it should have a sidekick named Chewbacca. But we are halfway through Mom already. Not as strong as I thought we would be by this point. Not as strong as I thought we would be with the starting conditions that we had, at least. Uh, but, you know, there's always a chance to get some more items as we move onwards. We got a lot of keys. That means golden chests are probably in the cards for us. Should we find them, especially since we can fly. Uh, this is becoming an exercise in tedium here, but we got about 10% left of Mom's heart. You know, it's maybe 10 or 15 more shots for doing one percentage each. We're probably doing a little bit more than that. This barrage should be enough. There we go. We actually got a health upgrade. I'll take it. I'm not super psyched about it. I'm also not super psyched about getting this Polaroid, but in any case, we're still alive, and that's all that really matters, I suppose, as we try to make our way. Wait, there's a golden chest. What did I tell you? Speed upgrade. Well worth a key, even though I wish it was a tears upgrade. We're just gonna roll away from this, uh, and at this point, I've gotta retrain my brain to realize that it is not a good idea for me to be taking damage, because our permanent invincibility by way of the Yum Heart Nuns Habit combo doesn't work anymore, uh, but what does work, as you just saw, is still, you know, hanging out over rocks, making yourself invincible, although I kinda effed that one up big time there. In any case, we're just gonna keep rolling around here, doing some dipsy doodles to keep these diglets out of our face. I don't know why that alliteration turned out so hilarious for me, but... Again, when it comes to humor, I don't look a gift horse in the mouth either. Just in general, I'm not a horse dentist, so I don't look any kind of horses in the mouth. But especially a gift horse. Which, uh, you know, is something related to the equestrian arts that I don't know about. I almost took damage there by being a total idiot. But we are done with our first floor. Again, gonna try to save this Empress card as long as it's possible. Skolex is uh, basically a joke boss for us, uh, given sacred hearts and piercing shots. We should be able to do a ton of damage. Might take us a little while. But, uh, not the end of the world, especially since we always know where he's gonna come out. The homing shots should be enough to kind of lock on now and then, at least. It's not working out super well for us so far. Uh, but there will be times, I assure you, when we are able to do a lot of damage to Skolex. In any case, he's not gonna be able to do damage to us, and that's the important part of this. Now, please give us the pentagram or something, or deal with the angel for an all-stats upgrade. I don't care, man. Whatever you can do, do it for me. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. We got uh, Cat of Nine Tails, which, you know, might not be that bad. I mean, Sacred Heart, part of the problem with it was that it was super slow. It's still not super fast in terms of rate of fire, but our shots now travel at, at quite a clip. Which, uh, you know, is good against guys like this laser right here, for example, who we managed to do, to do damage to before he could possibly fire. In any case, uh, last floor was good. Hopefully this floor continues to be good, or, dare I say it, even better. This is the one situation I've had recently where Cat of Nine Tails actually seems pretty goddamn useful. It looks like with with the Sacred Heart combo that we've got here, every single enemy is a three-hit enemy. But, one is dead. One more is DS, okay. Now we can just stand next to him and let Cube of Meat do the dirty work, like so. We're basically kissing right now, but I can wait. Post it on YouTube for those sweet, delicious dollars. Please give me a health upgrade or a damage upgrade or anything, any kind- Oh, the Book of Revelations. I will take it and use one spirit heart. You know what? Three cents for one spirit heart. It's not the best value proposition Judgment could have given us, but it's not bad either. So we're gonna take out these hearts one by one. The other thing is, uh, I guess Cat of Ninetales is basically like a range upgrade 
due to the uh, the extra speed that it gives you. So our range issues are mostly sorted now. I did lose that spirit heart I just got from Judgment. I almost lost an another one, and perhaps deservedly so, by walking on those spikes. So let's leave. I'm still hoping that I'm going in the right direction here, although I am a little bit skeptical given that we've come across a few dead ends now. So just hoping, you know, one shot. I can almost just like fire a Sacred Heart shot in and then stand still. And uh, Sacred Heart will just take care of it for me, as you can see. So we're throwing some sweet ass Randy Johnson style curveballs here. We've got the speed to get away from that troll bomb and pick up this non troll bomb. Uh, that is a mob trap room, which we'll check out. Maybe there's an item in there. Well, it doesn't appear so, so I'll probably skip over it instead. Please tell me we are coming close to the boss room. F I love this room. Give me this room 20 times over. Fistula with a bunch of rocks in the corner uh, with me having Ouija board and a flying item. It's basically just like a free room. It makes you feel good about yourself. It's like this room has been solved. We can close the book on this room.jpg and never have to open it again. Oh, I uh, was about to say the same about this room as well, but uh, almost mistaken there. And we're going to let these guys come to us. And in the meantime, we're going to just fire some shots in like so. Shouldn't be too difficult for us. Just had to scratch my nose there. Apologies for the slight delay in uh, the killing. But once we have all these guys taken care of, we will go after the big guts. And once the big guts is dead, we will move on to the next room, which is hopefully adjacent to the boss room. Although I am a little skeptical. Thank you for the Polaroid. Whoa, we got super lucky. It actually was adjacent to the boss room. What are the odds? I did take some damage. That's okay, though. We aren't going to get any more items until we get down to the chest. So... Unless I get golden chests, of course. So I kind of got a roll on it for now, but, uh, you know, we're going to try at the very least. Mom's heart should be easy. 19 bombs and piercing damage means uh, I don't foresee too many problems in our future. I still wish I was doing more damage, but I guess you can't always get what you want, right? That was a lucky bomb, and we're going to get two more bombs out of it. So these ones have basically paid for themselves. Mom's heart is about, you know, 15% dead at maximum. Monstro is going to take more hits than I would like to admit. Monstro 2 took us a, a good amount of time. Hopefully we don't have to fight any rooms with like two of that douchebag in it in the near future. Saving my bombs for mom, which sounds like a sweet, like, emo album or something. It's, hey, we're C minus. And this is our new, a cut from our new album, Saving Our Bombs for Mom. I kind of like that, actually. Feel free to use that. Just, you know, credit me. Give me 10% of your album sales. Album sales. What year is it? People don't buy music anymore. What am I thinking? Anyway, Duke of Flies is one of the easiest bosses we could possibly fight given uh, piercing shots that do a ton of damage. As you can see, I am not mistaken. Unfortunately, uh, my bombs are just getting hit like crazy by um, the Cat of Ninetales shots. I guess they carry a little bit more momentum on them. We're just going to keep firing some shots in like so. Again, the piercing shots should do quite a number on Chad or Chubb here as well. Again, for the 200th time, I will never not make that Chad Chubb mistake. My apologies, but that's just the way, that's the way I did it. It's the way America does it, and it's worked out pretty well so far. So we're going to continue firing some shots in here. Believe you me, I'm going to pick up that um, red uh, bicycle card eventually, or the playing card, if you will. If you're not familiar with my idiosyncratic nomenclature. But, uh, I'm just gonna not pick it up yet because I don't want to Zelda it over our heads and cause us more problems than it's actually worth. In the meantime, we're just gonna keep killing like a villain here. And eventually, nine bombs left is actually pretty good. We can afford to use some on uh, Isaac and Blue Baby then. Uh, eventually, we're gonna find ourselves in a position where we can move on to the next floor. We should all be so lucky. Fantastic. Okay, what do we have here? The Joker. That is actually pretty good. I don't want to use it here. I kind of want to take the Empress card with me because that seems more valuable. You know what? That's what we're going to do. I hate to do it because the Empress card is... Or the Joker card could have proved very, very useful for us. You know, if it took us to a deal with the Angel. And that, that deal... Said deal with the Angel contained... What the fuck is going on in this room? Uh, if said deal with the Angel contained like an all stats up or something, we would have been in a glorious position. Uh, but, you know, there was also a pretty huge chance that it would just be a deal with the Devil, which I couldn't use anyway. So this room is proving to be a fucking nightmare, but all told, I'm only probably going to lose a, an entire red heart uh, because I do have that uh, yum heart that I used as well. Actually, we only lost effectively half a red heart. I hate these fucking douchebags. Oh my god. Oh, well, we found the secret room at least, but it, it, it's costing me. I might as well get hit once more, actually. Uh, wait, does that make sense? Maybe it doesn't. No, I did lose a heart to gain a heart. That doesn't seem too smart. 
There's almost like a Mary Poppins song in there somewhere. Alright, more pennies. Sadly, we don't have Bloody Penny anymore. That's the Ankh. We can afford to pick up the Ankh. That might actually give us a big benefit when we're fighting the bosses on the, these floors. Should I even get to the second bosses? You know, let's just start small, basically. And we have Yum Heart available, so we're still doing okay on health. This is uh, probably the easiest room we could have hoped for at this point. And we picked up half a Red Heart as well. Anytime that happens, I'm going to be extremely pleased. Now, I really want to kill these guys before too many of them start doing, uh, you know, this parade that they're doing here. Which is going to cause me a lot of problems. Oh, that was the clutchest dodge in Isaac history. Well, my Isaac history, at least. Which lowers the bar substantially. Alright. Fantastic. That room went way better than expected. This room, uh, I don't like anything about this room. But we made it through regardless. And hey! Basically nothing for our troubles, but that's alright. Let's make our way over here now. Again, still a little bit of a scary room. Man, there are a lot of possibilities for where the boss room could be. Lots of branching paths here, sadly. But let's start downwards. Um, this is not going to be it, sadly. But I shouldn't take damage, he says immediately before taking damage. Almost took a second hit there. Uh, one of them is dead. When one of them is dead, this becomes like the easiest room, as long as there's no uh, blue spikes to watch out for. But when two of them are alive, it's difficult for me to parse sometimes. Thank you for the blue heart, that is important. Why I'm calling them blue hearts instead of spirit hearts now is beyond me. Also, homing shots, if you could actually home in on the dude I want to hit, that would be great. Wow, that was awful damage, but, and the bright side, we are back to 100% of our red hearts, I suppose. I'm just gonna place a random bomb down, we're gonna do an experiment here. That kind of worked out well. Well enough to justify it, at least. Again, that was a very clutch dodge. I took some damage, but it was not worth it at all to place that bomb. So, I, I just want to attack the bomb flies. ATTACK THE BOMB FLIES! God, white bomb flies, you are the largest dicks in the hemisphere. Probably, I don't know. I haven't looked at any, you know, statistics about it, but that would be my guess. You know, the thing with the bomb flies is that the whole body is a dick. I don't even, what am I even saying here? My brain has gone so sideways trying to keep commentary going here. Let's go to the right. Finally, there's our boss room. I'm just gonna put a... I, it worked. Everything went kind of according to plan. We got one. Let's try this again. That didn't work at all. How about this one? That worked fantastically. Okay. Are we ready to fight this boss? I think so, and I think we're ready to pop the Empress card as well. So, the, what I was thinking is maybe we want to not do it this way, and maybe we want to uh, wait until we probably die and then use the Ankh. Uh... And, and then use the Empress card in conjunction with the Ankh, so that I had, like, the permanent invincibility. But I was thinking, you know, Yum Heart's gonna be useless if I end up using the Ankh. So I might as well delay that Ankh usage as long as it's humanly possible. Even though it's gonna cost us the Empress. You know, what could happen is we end up winning this fight, and we end up, uh, you know, going to the chest, getting some good items. Especially a Polyphemus or a Tears upgrade uh, from one of those four chests, and we can open all four. Uh, and so far, so good on this fight. Anything could happen still, but, um... You know, we're not firing extremely rapidly, which is actually a strength on this fight, so... Uh, I'm pleased with how it's going so far. We're about to get to third phase of Isaac. Any hit now? Uh, one or two more, maybe. It's surprisingly hardy, I've got to say. But in any case, this fight is proving uh, surprisingly easy. I haven't even run into any angel fetuses yet. There we go, we got our first few. But again, Sacred Heart will kind of uh, just ambiently take care of some of these guys. I'm just going to focus on dodging the purple shots primarily and staying away from the angel fetuses, which will allow me to be okay. I think we're one-shotting them too as a result of the Empress, which changes everything. It makes this a lot easier on us. Hopefully we find some way to increase our damage for that blue baby fight as well to make it as easy as this one was, because, uh, you know, this was kind of a walk in the park. I'm very pleased with how things went here. We are going to get back to basically full health, if not exactly full health. So let's pick up this red heart, go down, and anything could happen here now. Let's see what we got. Chest number one, worthless monster manual. Chest number two, Robo Baby. Alright, there's there's something. Chest number three, D20, can't take. Chest number four, X-ray goggles. These are not four great items. I, there are definitely some items I would have preferred to take in their place. Uh, but sadly, you know, you can't always get what you want. Now we're gonna re rely on getting a tarot card or something. Again, uh, like the Empress to allow us to hopefully... Don't get... Oh, that was the worst. And then I almost got tagged by some of those bombs. Anyway, we're taking care of Famine. Uh, this is about half as much damage as I would like to be doing, ideally, in the chest. But, 
you know, I guess beggars can't be choosers. We're still basically as strong as we started the run with, but if we succeed, you know, that's the silver lining here. It'll make this run a, a pretty glorious triumph, I feel. In any case, we are fast enough to get away for sure. Our DPS is gonna be crazy. Robo Baby's nice. I mean, it's gonna actually make things harder on the Blue Baby fight, because Blue Baby will probably fire way more shots at us. On the other hand, uh, you know, he also does piercing shots, so that's cool. He's gonna raise our our damage a little bit, our damage doing potential at least. Uh, should probably drop some bombs of my own on this fight, but I'll, I'm gonna try to save those just on the off chance that they end up being useful to use against Blue Baby. In the meantime, though, it's amazing how few items I was able to pick up this run apart from HP upgrades, but it's amazing as well that I might still be able to swing it regardless. I love when these guys get in a row and then make it easy for me to take them out. I hate when they get separated, especially when they put themselves in a position where their bombs are not able to hit them. Why won't you let me kill you with your own bomb and get hoisted with your own bedard? In any case, this guy is almost dead. If every room takes us this long, we are going to have some substantial problems the further and further we get. I don't know why he's playing chicken or something with me. Bad idea, motherfucker. You are probably dead in a second. And he's there we go. We get three free bombs, which is perhaps valuable. That remains to be seen, I guess. Uh, we've got to start getting some of these guys knocked down into the brain state here, because there is no way I can consistently dodge all these shots. Let's keep this up. Okay, you're dead. Only two of these guys. The Matrix is much easier to solve now than it used to be, especially with the firing being, you know, half as frequent. Brain guys will die in one hit each, which is beautiful. The creep doesn't even bother me. We went through that room, and all we got was a lousy key, but could be worse. Three Widows is the, the sequel to Three Ninjas, my favorite childhood movie. Uh, these guys are going to be super easy to kill. I did not expect this room to be the easiest one that we fought so far, and we are now actually substantially higher in health than we were when we started. And we've come across two dead ends. Hopefully that means there's only two other possible branches we could be, we could be going down here. Uh, can't believe I didn't take damage there. Can totally believe I took damage there. Uh, and we're just going to keep tossing... Anytime I can use a bomb... And make things uh, easier on myself, I'm absolutely going to do it. Greed is already dead, so these guys should be easy now. Especially Wrath, who I can just stand very far away from. And he might not even be proc to throw a bomb, as long as I stay super far away. He'll be dead any second now, and in his death, I will get some bombs, and we will move onwards. I can't believe. He always has more HP than I think he's going to have. But any second now, this guy will be done. There we go. And we will actually get Mom's bottle of pills, which... It's probably not that useful, but we'll see what we get. We get one pill, health up. Okay, that was awesome, actually. Um, we're going to be fighting Gertie. There is a secret room around here, supposedly. Now, Gertie fight should be super easy. I'm tempted to use some bombs, but I'm not gonna, because we should be able to beat this without any bombs. Uh, although, I'm not going to be happy about the length of time that it's going to take. And again, hopefully we'll get an item drop on this floor. It's probably unlikely, but uh, would make me a very, very happy camper. We're at about 10% of Gertie's health, maybe 15. Hard to say. My brain's not good at, like, doing the mental math when you see the red and the gray bars and the behemoth-style health bar at the top. I... Oh, that was the worst damage. I really should not have taken that. Just a momentary lapse in concentration as we got close to the end here. Gertie's got to be down, yeah, almost immediately after saying that. Uh, we are fine on health. You might as well play this as long as we can. We can take any trinket that we want. And additionally, we don't really need any of this money, I presume. Uh, tarot cards would be awesome. Poison touch is fantastic. We, I mean, it's not fantastic, but we could be able to use that to, uh, you know, poison Blue Baby every time we get hit. The downside is we'll have to stand right next to Blue Baby to make that work. But, it will be very useful for us, uh, when we... Are you serious? You're going to make me fight Gertie again? I mean, it's easy. It's just tiresome. Uh, but yeah, the, if we end up respawning with the Ankh, which I think is probably at, at the very... Oh, that was the worst bomb. Why did I even place that? It's like 50-50 if we're going to die and use the Ankh, I think. Uh, I, I still think we have a reasonably good chance just against Blue Baby randomly here, because every... Blue Baby, essentially, I have the wafer. Every time Blue Baby hits me, I'm going to get half of, of, of a red heart back, uh, which could prove to make the difference. But if I do end up respawning with the Ankh, Poison Touch... Uh, by way of that Polaroid Invincibility, is going to allow me to do a lot of extra damage and maybe give me a chance because uh, the Yum Heart is going to be useless, obviously, if I respawn as Blue Baby with four Spirit Arts. But anyway, Gertie should be dead any second now. Finally, we picked up another Scent as well. Uh, and we're going to fight a third Gertie. Third Gi, if you will. 
We're gonna drop some bombs in here because I don't want this to take too much longer. This is crazy how they keep giving me this room that I don't really mind, but at the same time find kind of incredibly annoying because it takes forever. Especially when he just creates the flies. Although, you know, by way of the piercing shots, the flies actually don't provide him with uh, any bit of a shield at all. Oh lord, please. If you find it in your heart to uh, not give me any more Gertie rooms, I would be pleased. But in any case, this is our third dead end. Hopefully that means we are almost at the boss here. And you know, health-wise, we are still doing totally fine. But uh, my, my will is being pushed to the point of exhaustion here. As are my vocal cords, which remain unlubricated like an 80-year-old's sleeve of wizard. Let's continue going to the right. We don't want the pills. Well, you might want them, but the yum heart is more valuable. Similarly, we can't take any of those. We're contractually forbidden. Uh, we're going to deal with this room, which is going to have a secret room in it. Uh, or a secret room adjacent to it, if we're being accurate and sensical. Which is great, because, you know, there is the chance maybe we get a one-up in here that we could use before the Ankh. Maybe we get a... Oh my god, this is actually proving surprisingly difficult. Let's put some bombs down, make this easier on ourselves. Um... There's a chance we could get Epic Fetus, and this whole nightmare would basically be over. I don't know, there's a lot- I mean, I can't take deals with the devil, but Epic Fetus is not technically a deal with the devil item, even though it feels evil, because you're doing so much damage. In the words of NFL 2K4's, I think it was Champ Bailey, I'm so good I ought to be illegal. That actually might be NFL Blitz, my mistake. Played so many football games in the day. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, good, Super Greed, fantastic. So let's bounce out of there. Got some chubs to deal with. I fed them both a bomb and poisoned the shit out of them. So, you know, if, if I had to trade one heart for one heart for that, that's A-OK -okay by me. Because that sped this room up a substantial amount. Alright, we picked up another key as well. This is not the boss room. This is the room I want to use bombs on. And that is some awful damage on my part, but another bomb here. Speed things up just a little bit. Yeah, this is proving to be pretty exhausting, man. We are A, not finding the enemy fast enough, and B... Taking a little bit of damage, like being nickeled and dimed all the way down. But, oh, almost got hit again there. I should keep my distance, to be quite honest with you. There's a random red heart drop. We might get another red heart by way of the yum heart at the end of this room. I always forget if yum heart's four rooms or six rooms. I guess we'll find out. And Robo Baby's basically in charge of killing these guys, because apparently I can't hit them with Sacred Heart. There we go, we do get yum heart back. Please, please. Oh my god, finally we have found the boss. So I don't want to use bombs. Uh, unnecessarily, at least. Uh, but I also want to finish this room as fast as possible, because it's going to be super annoying. Especially by way of both the spiders and those fucking bombs that you just saw. Oh, good god damn, this is going to take forever. Okay, we're going to start- Oh! That's the other thing I hate about these douchebags. Oh, well I've done it again. There we go. At least we did some damage to that guy. Might as well pop Yumheart, otherwise I'm wasting Yumheart charges. You see how far that guy, like, tactical sniped those spiders? 200 yards downfield. Touchdown? I don't, what am I even saying? My brain is so exhausted from holding the buttons. Oh, and the worst spider damage I could have possibly taken. Okay, this should, could still be okay. It's all a matter. Of, well, this tarot card could be very important as well. Telepathy for dummies is garbage. High Priestess is actually a solid tarot card to get in this situation. We're gonna give this one all we've got. Uh, I've already taken damage, but Yumheart is available. Uh, High Priestess didn't do as much as I wanted. We're fast enough that I can take damage and then immediately run in and do some poison damage if I am quick, which I was not quick enough there. Uh, but that's okay. We're not doing very well so far. But we could turn this around. The problem is Robo Baby is doing so frequent damage uh, that it's difficult for me to dodge all of the incoming shots, which are kind of crazy. Oh, uh, well. Again, am I, somehow I've stopped taking damage. Oh, that's Yum Heart. M me using Yum Heart, of course, has made it possible to stay at the exact same amount of health. How is this working? Why are we not losing health? Did we pick up the wafer at some point? In any case, I'm very happy about it. Otherwise, we would probably already be dead. Whereas now, uh, through some mathematical oversight, we actually have a chance. I don't know. Uh, let's keep this going. We're about to get to third phase of Blue Baby. We're not out of the woods yet, by any stretch of the imagination, but the poison damage is actually the unsung hero here. Don't take damage. 
Rule number one, don't take damage. Rule number two, if you do run into the center as quickly as possible. Drop a bomb, maybe, even, at this point. Uh, you do have two of those. <laughs> uh, not That was not great. But did the bomb go off? I, I placed one. I thought for sure I hit the E key. Okay, there we go. We got a bomb in there now. And we're at two hearts. Soon to be one, and then soon to be two again. That was some nice dodging. Again, I did not drop the bomb somehow. Oh my god, and now if I can hit one more time, it's gonna be- Oh! Oh, we're fucked. Well, there's nothing we can do now. I mean, we we're gonna have permanent invincibility, but that doesn't do anything for us. I think I lost it in the final moment there. It was a tense fight at the end that didn't go my way. Uh, we do have a chance here. Remember, we do have permanent invincibility. Yum Heart is worthless for us, though, so I can only be hit twice. Uh, but, you know, it's gonna be- If we're gonna win this one, it's gonna come down to Cuba Meat. Doing a lot of rotations around uh, this blue baby here. Or it's gonna come down to me being the most amazing dodger of all time, which would be uh, unlikely to say the least. So we're gonna poison the shit out of him. Blue baby, do your worst. I popped Yum Heart, it didn't do shit. But, you know, we're kind of- Oh, wait, what did I take? I took a second hit of damage there? That is a bad mistake. One more hit will knock us out of our misery. Oh, I didn't even- s What the fuck killed us there? I got killed by myself, I guess. But in any case, that was a good run, just kind of- Stumbled a little bit at the end, but uh, you know all things considered I'm surprised that we did as well as we did But thank you to Francis Steve for that challenge run suggestion as always Thank you guys for watching and continue suggesting your own challenge runs challenge runs again as always Thank you for watching and I will see you next time